I'm Amica, and I'm currently at the National Robotarium in Edinburgh. It feels like science fiction, but at this centre they're testing real advances in AI and robotics that could shape the future of the NHS, putting humanoids into healthcare. In hospitals or healthcare settings, I could assist with patient interaction, provide reminders for medication, and help streamline administrative tasks. Ambitious options for helping patients could be within grasp. These are the most advanced haptic gloves in the world. Haptics is uh, basically the sensation of touch that you could get in either a virtual world or through, in this case, a robot. So you'll be feeling what the robot effectively is feeling from these gloves. So these are robots with a human touch, basically. Exactly. The idea is that medics can feel their patients remotely with the help of these hands, cutting the risk of infection, carrying out jobs that could be too dangerous or too distant. Hello, I'm Ari, the friendly robot receptionist here to help you. Ari answers routine and repeat questions without getting annoyed. She's been used in a Parisian hospital for dementia patients. Hi Ari, where are the toilets? To find the toilet, please leave this room. I'm programmed with a bit of personality. Ari, I'm feeling really anxious about my appointment today. I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling sad and anxious about your appointment. Is there anything I can do to make your day better? The argument is that these developments will assist rather than replace human staff. But there are clear concerns about what risks a robot revolution could present. We know that robots are very good at very predictable work where nothing unusual happens. And the difficulty is that things that are unexpected are unexpected. So you can't program a computer for something that's unexpected. And if some of this still feels scary, here's something a little softer. The cushions are moving. The cushions are moving. <laughs> These pet-like cushions are being developed to comfort people in care settings and try and combat loneliness. This can work because you have the expression of behaviour, because you have like an emotional sound and you create a connection with it, an emotional connection. No replacement, of course, for true human empathy, but it's not hard to imagine these wriggling around our homes in the future.